There are good mornings, those with warm tea and the purple light. Then there are mornings without tea, or any light at all, where you wake up and find your fortune lost, taken from you, possibly forever. What's going on? Move the mouse here. Playing some Leo's Fortune today, something very different for the channel. But sometimes I need a quick game that I can get into, get out of, just kill a couple minutes on break, unwind a little bit between calls. Maybe you're just got a couple minutes to kill and don't have time for a long, drawn out gameplay session. This one is fantastic. It's been out forever. I love it. I don't think I've ever talked about it on the channel. Uh, Leo's Fortune. So this one came out in 2014 for iOS, Android, and get this, Windows Phone. Do you remember Windows Phone? Anyone anyone out there ha ever have a Windows Phone? Um, but here's the better part. It's also available on Windows, Mac, not a lot of games can say that, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. So unfortunately, Switch users are left out. But let me jump in to the very beginning of the game. We'll begin at the beginning. And let me give you a little taste. There is a story. I'll let the game tell you more about it. I used to be Leopold the Golden, Leopold the Fortunate, they called me the grand inventor of greatest engineering. But when my fortune was stolen, I was only the fool. And there was trickiness involved, for the thief had dropped my gold like breadcrumbs through the woods. I left in haste with a note to my wife. Matilda, dearest, I have gone to catch a culprit. I hope to be back by evening supper. Yours kindly, L. So what is this game all about? Well, you move left and right, pretty standard platforming fare, but you can also jump. And when you stay in that little puff ball form, basically, you can kind of float. So it's some interesting controls and I, I haven't played it, but I think this would adapt very well to uh, uh -huh. a console experience, a console experience, a mobile experience. <laughs> Sorry. So we want to jump here, all right? There's some uh, basic mechanics it's gonna, gonna teach us. There's a little physics platforming and things like that. Watch out for the spikes. But it's a really, it. I don't know. It's. I think it's a beautiful game. For something that came out, uh, what, in 2014 on mobiles, it's, yeah. uh, it's a very beautiful game. So here we gotta flip that around and over. It starts very basic. One of the things that I love about this game, um, some of you may know. I have a daughter. I have a, uh, well, she's going to be five next month. And the nice thing about this game is that it does present challenges if you are grounds. Oh, bounce. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't apparently think and bounce at the same time. So it, the thing is, it presents a decent challenge if you want to complete a round without missing any coins, without dying. What's this now? Maybe there's a timetable as well. I'm not sure. But there's some interesting little physics things. I mean, it's not super. It's not super challenging, he says, as he can't get up the side of that wall. But again, it's a it's a beautiful platformer. It's simple. It's got great gameplay. I, uh, I really enjoy. It. Except when stuff like that happens to me. Hold on, we got this. It's all about the left and right, and not about up and down. That always messes me up. I kind of like want to rotate my, my character around. Yeah. But yeah, this one hopefully is accessible to everybody. Um, because even if you're just a switch user you probably have an android ios or maybe even a windows phone i still think it's funny that this is you know, catch yourself before you fall on that spike um i still think it's kind of funny Oof. okay uh-huh so yeah the floating is a fun aspect again I, I i think it's something that you could play with a kid i know that you know i have a a four-year-old who's been able to manage to play some of the levels. Whether or not she stays interested in it is a, a different question for a very long session. But again, the nice thing about Leo's Fortune, it's a quick game. You can get a couple levels in, see a beautiful platformer. 
and uh, and I really enjoy the gameplay, so I think it's worth checking out. I wanted to highlight something a little different, something that has been kind of it's it's I mean it's been on my I thought I missed that jump. It's been on my Xbox. I definitely missed that jump. So okay, good. Here's you get to see like the the checkpoints are not at all frustrating, right? It puts you it puts you back a little bit, you know. Maybe I guess depending on where where you fall or fail. But you're basically measured on these metrics is how many of the coins did you get? How many times did you die? And how fast did you do it? So it's not punishing, you know, a kid who's not capable or someone who's not good at platformers. You can still finish the level and have fun. But if you want these kind of, you know, improvement trials, be the best of the best. And uh, actually, you can see, look, like I, j I play the game to have fun. I'm not playing the game to get these these stars. So I highly recommend it. This is Leo's Fortune. Again, it's available on pretty much everything except for Switch. So definitely worth a check uh, on the platform store of your choice. Check it out. Let me know what you think. If uh, if you're into, you know, a, a 2D platformer. And I think later on there's some kind of 2... There's some 2D, 2.5D elements. Does it, am, I, am I supposed to knock that up? There we go. Okay, I just wasn't hitting it hard enough. I'm going to guess the reason why I didn't finish this level with a three gold stars because of deaths and missing coins. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that was so close to dying. That was dying. Ugh. So we got to kind of float through there. And then float, on, float under there. Okay, well, I never said I was good at this game. I just said that I had fun playing it. And again, I think that's that's a testament to a really good, a really good game design. Is that that does have that element of... Oops. It does have that element of challenge if you want it, but it also is not fun. It's not fun. It's not frustrating to the point where it ruins your fun if if you're not good at some of those things. So check out Leo's Fortune. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've played it. I'm interested to know. Uh, I feel like this one is under a lot of people's radars. It wants us to go in this lane, so let's do that. So check out Leo's Fortune. Let me know in the comments down below. Sorry, something, you know, just different today. Um, and along those lines, um, uh. my my city stuff has been kind of dropping and waning um, in interest because there's no there's not a lot of new there's not a lot of new stuff to build into the game. And I know from some of the regulars that you yourselves are not necessarily playing cities as much as you used to or uh, pretty much. I mean, I think everybody is. We're waiting for new content. We're waiting for something new and big. And uh, eventually, maybe there'll be... Whoops. You know, a lot of us are kind of waiting for that next DLC or that next big update for, for something exciting to kind of spark some excitement. And and I know that, you know, my... my uh, it's going to be... I thought that was going to be death. Um, come on. So yeah, that's why I've been looking for ways like, you know, Plainville and ways to, to integrate some new, some new content. Come on, there we go. It's really all about the left and right. As soon as you start pushing up or down there, I'm not gonna bother with that, it doesn't matter. What did I get, one star? Four fatalities, terrible. Three minutes is for a star there. I'm gonna cut 30 seconds off. So there's your challenge. There's, you know, what you can do to, uh, again, to get good. You can see here, though, like some of the levels I've no starred. Like it's it's I've, I've enjoyed the game. Uh, it's it's there. That challenge is there. But you don't have to take it. Check out Leo's Fortune. Kill a couple minutes. I think it's a great game. Let me know what other, uh, you know, fun little quick platformers maybe I might check out. Uh, definitely. Definitely would be interested if it is not frustrating like this one is. Uh, I'm a big fan of accessibility in games and not 
shoving your audience away because they're not good enough, I think is a, an excellent design decision. <clears throat> Cuphead. Um, so <laughs> let me know uh, what you're playing uh, down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the video. Stay tuned. More cities coming pretty soon, probably this weekend with another uh, update video on, on some old build. But until then, this is Move the Mouse signing off.